Hey guys, today I want to talk about Magic the Gathering and the cool kids. I am too cool to play Magic the Gathering, but I'm still here. And this is a... I don't know what it is, it's like hipsters, or I don't know what's going on, but when I was younger, when you play Magic the Gathering, you knew you weren't cool. Like, I, I'm not like... I'm not like super old, but also I'm not as young as a lot of you believe I am. Uh, I'll just give you this. My 10 year reunion is coming up this year, I feel like. Yeah, it's this year. So, 10 year high school reunion. So, I am older. And when I pl was playing Magic back in that day, like it was very different from today. And you knew you were a nerd, and you knew that your other friends were nerds, and you knew everyone at the Wizard of, Wizard of the Coast actually had a physical store when I was playing Magic. You knew everyone in that who goes and enters this store next to JC Penny, and the store was next to JC Penny, and then like some other crappy and like a woman's suit, like it sold women's purses, but also like shoes. Like I want to say Aldo, is that like a woman's purse shoes? No, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, it was in like this really weird place, like hidden away in the mall, so it wasn't even like visible. <laughs> like you had to know it was there, or you had to be looking for it, and. You knew everyone who entered that store was a nerd. But nowadays, there are a subset of uh, high school students and college students in particular who feel like they are really cool kids and they are just playing magic that... Okay, the reason I'm ta making this video is they feel like they are too cool to play magic yet and they treat you... They kind of treat you as if you are a nerd and they are the cool kids and they're just playing magic because they are somehow they are giving you something because by their presence does that make any sense i know hopefully some of you can leave in a comment below if you had this weird experience where the guy you're playing is saying like all these ridiculous stuff about like how like cool he is and like and like oh how i i can't believe i'm here on a friday night oh my god there's so many parties and he's like texting like you're, you're playing magic he's like texting like supposedly his friends Probably his mom. He's probably texting his mom and he's like, oh, so and so should come here. Oh, they, we're going drinking tonight. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, and I don't know what it is, but it's a uh, issue right now for me. I, my locals, at least my locals who has video, it's even worse than video games. I can tell you that much. Where you have people who are like, oh, I, I hate video games. And then they'll beat you and they'll be like, oh, I'm really good. You're so lucky I'm here. And it's like, well, what, what are you talking about? Like, you obviously practice video games. You obviously practice playing magic. You obviously know a lot about magic and you just don't admit it even at a place where you know everyone plays magic. So th this type of person kind of, I don't want to say um, makes me mad, but it does annoy me a little bit when they have the bravo, I guess, would be the way I put it of assuming that they are the only cool people or they're the only people who are uh you know non-nerd magic players and everyone else is a nerd and then they treat everyone else as if they are a nerd the reason that upsets me a little bit is because that's isn't that the same mentality that that people go to magic to escape uh, magic is such a cool place especially friday night magic anybody from anywhere doctors lawyers Dentists, marketers, college kids, elementary school kids, any type of person can come and play magic and they can have fun with each other. Uh, but then this type of person feels like they are better than everyone else and treats everyone else a little. Uh, and you can kind of tell, it's not like about the trading necessarily, but it's about the fact that the dude brings like a binder worth 5k to a place where it's all standard and the most valuable card in anyone's binder is a siege rhino like what why are you keep why do you keep doing this like you've been here like 10 15 times you should know that no one's going to trade for legacy staples at this location because this is a standard or draft like all the, the got one dude who when we draft i don't bring anything i go straight to work to go to draft so i don't have like i'm I buy a lot of draft sleeves, which is actually pretty stupid now I think about it, at the store because I don't have them and I just play and that's all my friends. But this, some of these guys, they will bring like a binder of like just the most valuable cards in Magic's 
uh, boxes and like all types of incredible cards. And it's just like we're drafting. What, like, why did you bring it? And they're like, oh, hey, do you want to see my trade binder? I was like, no, I don't have anything to trade for it. Oh, but you should still take a look at it. No, I looked at it last week. And this whole like too cool mentality to play Magic is a little upsetting. But at the same time, I kind of know where it comes from. Is if you there was like experiments, psychology experiments, where if uh, you put like nerdy people together and then you gave a position of power to one nerd, that nerd would pretty much like exactly the social hierarchy would just form again and that nerd would just punish all the other nerds for no reason except that he had that position of power. And a lot of times that position of power, that too cool effect comes from uh, students or uh, comes from magic players who are you know, who value, I mean, I guess they're trade binders that position of power. I don't know, it's a really weird experience. I don't know if you guys have the same experience as I did or I do currently. Uh, leave a comment below if you have. Bye guys.